Hello friends, I'm Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today Kyle and I are gonna get the keys to our rental house. We just moved to Omaha, Nebraska in the middle of this crazy pandemic, but today we are going to go to our rental house. We're gonna bring Gunther because he has a yard and we're so excited. And we're going to head there now. We're gonna go meet our property manager, get the keys, do a walkthrough, all that good stuff. We aren't sure if we're gonna actually be able to get all of our stuff moved in today. It's currently in storage and we're waiting for a call back to see if we can get it today. But in either case, we are going to paint some of the walls. Some of the walls in the bedroom are just too much or just not a great color and we got permission to paint the walls. So today we're gonna try to put primer on all of the walls before we decide on a paint color. So let's go, I'm so excited. We're here. So I'm gonna do a little empty house tour for y'all. Okay, so when you walk in the door, you can either go Ooh, I almost tripped. Upstairs or downstairs. We'll just go downstairs really quick just to see our basement. This is the basement. It has a cute little fireplace and it's really long and skinny. We're not really sure what we're going to do with this area yet. And there is the laundry room and out there is the garage. If we go left, here is the living room area. And then it is right next to the dining room. This little stand is not permanent. It was left by the last residence. Here is our kitchen. We're so excited because it has a big fridge. We've never had a fridge this big. Also, the microwave is huge. And we have a gas stove. You walk down here. And we have a bathroom. Hello. The bathroom just looks like a bathroom. This is one of the bedrooms and as you can see it has a brown or two brown walls and a red wall. We are definitely going to paint these walls, thank goodness. And it has a small closet and we're thinking that we're going to use this room as a guest room. And this is another spare room. It has very bright blue walls. We think we might mute it a little bit, but this is going to be our office. Gunther is so excited. He's been running around. He's just excited to get out of the hotel room. And then this is the last bedroom and it has like brown and purple walls, it looks like. Um, and this is the master bedroom. It does have a small closet, which is gonna be an adjustment, but that's okay. And then this is the master bathroom. It does only have a shower, unfortunately, but that's okay. Here's my fiance. And this is the backyard. I'm so excited for the backyard. This was a priority for us because we wanted to have a fenced in backyard for Gunther and possibly another dog if we decide to adopt another one. So this is the backyard and it is big and it has a fire pit and we are so excited about that. So this is our new home for about a year or so. We're so excited. We There is some general wear and tear, which is fine. It's to be expected. I think this house is like 19 years old. I think it was built in 2001. It's really cute. It's in a really nice area. There's a lot of other military families that live here, which is great. We are about to get started on painting and doing some general cleaning. And then our stuff is supposed to be delivered on Wednesday. <laughs> had a super long day of cleaning and painting and all that good stuff. We had to go take a couple shopping trips to Walmart just to get some things that we needed. Also apparently the standard for cleanliness in a rental home in Nebraska is a lot lower than other places. Our property manager was kind of explaining that to us but we didn't realize like exactly how bad it was. So we are thinking about hiring somebody to come and clean and it's not, it's like deep cleaning like baseboards like there's just stuff in drawers like crumbs and glitter and all sorts of stuff just stuck in the drawers and I'm just not like I'm fine with general mess as long as it's my mess but this is somebody else's mess that they made however long ago and it's just grossing me out 
to have to clean up after everyone. Hopefully we can get somebody to come in and clean before our movers come. But right now we are headed back to the hotel. We are exhausted after all of the stuff that we had to do today. We are going to go de-stress and tomorrow will be another day. Good morning, it is the next day and we are headed to the house because we found a cleaning service that will come and clean the house for us and do all of the detailing, baseboards, all the doors just have like gross dust buildup on them and the blinds need to be dusted and the bathrooms need to be cleaned and all the kitchen cabinets need to be cleaned out and dusted and wiped out and we found somebody to do all of that detailing. I called around to some places this morning and they are coming today. I'm so excited. I'm so relieved. I'm just really happy to not have to live in somebody else's filth, especially with everything that's going on. It's kind of scary to have to clean up after someone whenever you don't know if they were affected by the coronavirus or not, and you don't know anything about their history. You don't know anything about them and what they have or any of their family members have. So it's just nice to get somebody else to come in and clean for us and we can just start fresh and start new. And then tomorrow we are supposed to get our stuff delivered. So we'll have a nice clean house to unpack into. I'm just so relieved, so excited. Uh, hamsters? Guinea pigs. You don't like this guy because... Kanye West. No. Uh, Donald Trump. No. Uh, pop singer. Justin Bieber. Yeah. This is a movie where the guy is from the North Pole and he finds out his dad is a human and he wears green. The Santa he's Claus. He's Will Ferrell. Fred Claus. Will Ferrell. Elf. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the Olsen twins. My favorite. Mary Kay and Ashley. Yes. No, don't pass. Why'd you pass? Oh, I did. It's my favorite Disney movie. Hercules. No. It's a black actress. Beyonce. She was in Rosary Baby. So we just got back to our hotel. It's almost 7 p.m. now. We had a super productive day. There were two ladies that came and cleaned the house and they were there for almost four hours and now everything looks immaculate. There was a couple things that they missed or just things that we didn't ask them to clean, but that's okay. I'm just so relieved. I feel like I can shower in that shower and feel like I'm gonna be clean and I can lay on my carpet and feel like I'm not getting somebody else's germs on me and it's just such an amazing feeling. But while they were cleaning, Kyle and I were also being productive. We painted one of the rooms. We painted the guest room or what might be the office. We're not sure yet. And we also cleaned up a lot outside. There were just a lot of things on the ground in the backyard for whatever reason, just bottle caps and solo cups and toys just a lot of things that were left probably not just by the last residents but a lot of residents previous like there was a solo cup that i pulled out of the ground that had so much dirt caked up on it that it just pulled up so much dirt it was just disgusting now we're back at the hotel and we're about to order some food we're gonna have indian tonight i'm so excited we're also gonna get some margaritas and celebrate the fact that this is our last night in a hotel room before we get to move in all of our stuff tomorrow the movers are coming bright and early in the morning and we are so excited i cannot wait to our messy hotel room we've lived in for a week. See ya! 
Good morning! We are checking out of the hotel today and I'm so excited to just finally get to our place and get all of our stuff moved in. I know it'll probably take a few days for us to actually get all of our stuff unpacked but I'm just excited to not have to live in a hotel anymore. Although I did get some good sleep with all of those blackout curtains and the staff was super nice too and they were always super nice to get there but I'm just excited to finally have our own place and to start cooking again. I just can't wait. It's going to be a really, really, really long day, but it'll all be worth it. Midday check-in. We have stuff everywhere. It only took them about two, two and a half hours to unload everything. And then all of the big furniture like the beds and stuff like that, they actually put together for us. So they left and we just ate Chipotle, which I'm not a big Chipotle person, but Kyle was craving it. So we had it. So far, so good. We've had uh, one of our lamps break, which is fine because it's it's like a taller lamp and it was super old like I was actually given it from a friend who was cleaning out somebody else's storage So it was like a lot of people before it got to me and I've had it for a while now, so it's fine that it broke. Hopefully we're able to replace it with something nicer. They also broke a wine glass, which is unfortunate. Luckily we have plenty, but it's just kind of annoying that one in this very particular set is broken. The biggest travesty is that we don't have our pineapple chairs. We lost our two pineapple chairs. We also had like this little white shelf that we haven't been able to find yet. And the way that they labeled it, like the white tags were furniture and then the green tags were in boxes and there's just no record of it at all. So that's kind of a bummer because we know that we had it, um, but hopefully if we, I hopefully we can find it and they maybe they just took it apart and put it in a box or something. But if not, then We'll just see what happens but we have a long day of unpacking ahead of us um i've been focusing on the kitchen we want to wash all of the dishes and everything but before we do that i'm putting everything away just to see how everything goes in all of the cabinets and drawers and stuff because i just want to see how um, we're gonna have everything set up it's it's just gonna be an adventure going through all those boxes and getting everything in its right place so the people who packed our stuff in Ohio, everything that belonged in the guest room, they labeled it guest room. Every single one. Like this isn't just the only thing that says guest. I have done a lot of the kitchen. I've been uh, running the dishwasher a ton today, just trying to clean all of the dishes and then get those put away. We have a bunch of Tupperware that's just air drying right now, but I'm exhausted. Um, also did the bathroom today, just the, um, the guest bathroom. Right now I am starving. Kyle just went out to get some Korean food. It was my choice. Uh, or it was my turn to pick what we are going to eat since we had Chipotle earlier. And so we are going to have Korean food for dinner. I'm so excited. I love Korean food so much. And then hopefully tomorrow we can actually go grocery shopping and we can start cooking. I really, really hope so. I really hope that we can make it to the grocery store and we can get all the things to make. I made like a grocery list. I made meals for the next week. I'm just really excited to just get in the kitchen and start cooking again and stop having to eat out all the time. Good morning. 
I started my day with organizing the Tupperware. I'm so excited. Right now it's so organized, but it's such a small cabinet that I know that it's just going to go nuts over time, but that's okay. Right now it looks awesome. I also took a shower this morning, which I needed desperately. I feel so clean. I'll probably take another one tonight though, just because I know that we're going to be doing a lot of work in the house today. But right now we are running some errands. We need to get our post office, our mail set up. So we have to go get a copy of our lease and then we have to take it to the post office and then they will assign us a mailbox because in our neighborhood they have uh, just the community mailboxes. Uh, there's just a few different ones and they assign you a mailbox rather than everybody having a mailbox, which is unfortunate but that's okay we're gonna make it work and then after that we're going grocery shopping which I'm so excited about because we desperately need to stock our pantry and our fridge and our freezer so that we can just stop going out to eat I'm so tired of going out to eat which I never thought I'd say that but I am just tired of going out to eat so I'm excited to get to start cooking and now all of our dishes are clean thank goodness it took forever I put my dishwasher to work but it is all good now so yeah it's gonna be a day of running errands and getting lots of stuff done Not super full, but we have some food in the fridge and in the pantry. Yes, I still eat ramen, don't come for me. I'm making dinner for the first time in our kitchen. I'm so excited. I found this recipe for like cranberry chicken pecan sweet potatoes or something like that and it looks so good. We're doing our best to try and eat healthy now that we have just eaten like crap for the past like month or so just surviving off of takeout pretty much. So I'm excited to try out this recipe. It looks so good. did not vlog any yesterday. I did film some little clips and stuff, but we just had a pretty chill day. It was kind of productive, kind of lazy. I did start my day with like a smoothie and I made some bread and I also made some salmon teriyaki for dinner last night, which was so good. I'm not really sure what's on the agenda for today. Kyle and I are actually about to go for a run and then I have no idea what we're going to do for the rest of the day. We do have a few things that we still want to put on the wall. There's some unpacking to do but not really much there's some furniture that we still need to get um, in order to fully unpack stuff especially for the office but good news they found our pineapple chairs i'm so excited and it's such a perfect day for them too so hopefully we can get them super soon <laughs> and then we will be able to use them and sit outside and it'll just be nice so my closet is pretty much done. Um, all of my clothes are hung up and all of my shoes are down here, but there's this shelf right here that we can't use because it's not actually stable in there. So Kyle has to fix that. And then all of these electronic things will go down there. This bathroom is pretty much done. I put shelf liners here uh, just because this was actually this actually came with the house and so it was kind of rusty so I just put some shelf liners on it just so it could look a little better and I would feel more comfortable putting like toilet paper and stuff. We're making progress in the master bedroom. I know we still have to paint these walls but we have primer on and we still need to go pick out paint colors but um, we have all of these things that need to go up on the wall and then some of these things over here that are going to go on top of them and 
these little pictures over here, but we got the DVD cabinet out of here because that's going in the guest room, which I'll show you all in a second. And all of the boxes over here are gone. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my laundry basket, but I do not wanna leave there. The guest room is looking pretty good. We are going to paint some of these walls, just probably this one and this one but this room isn't bad as far as paint goes but the dvd cabinet is right here and then we put our small tv on top of that so that anyone that comes and stays with us can enjoy watching tv the bed is made kyle's clothes are all over it he's in the process of hanging all of them up this room is just chaos but um, we do have all of the walls primed and ready to be painted as soon as we go and get some paint. I'm going to put all of the board games up in the office closet, um, but for now it just has those three puzzles. We have the shower curtain that I love that we found at TJ Maxx and then the we put this in here because there's literally just no space. Uh, to put any of this uh, stuff on the sides of the bathtub. Our medicine cabinet is full of medicine and extra toilet paper. This is the living room so far. We aren't sure what we're gonna do with our paintings and our travel picture frame, but for now they're just there until we can decide where we want to hang them up. And the dining room is pretty much done. We just have to figure out what we're going to do with all of this stuff. All of this stuff right here is actually Gunther's. So it's like his medicine, his treats, some of his documents, um, poop bags, just all sorts of stuff. So we need to buy something that we can put all of this stuff in. And once we do, we can get all of this off the table. We got a fancy trash can last night. I'm super excited about that. A lot nicer than the one that we had at our old place. Gunther's outside, he needs to come in. And the kitchen. Just looks like the kitchen, but all of the cabinets are nice and full, which we're super excited about. And we put all of our magnets on the fridge. I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog here. Not much is going on today. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope that you are enjoying these videos, just getting a little peek into what I've been up to since our move from Nebraska and getting engaged and all of that good stuff and just what we're doing in quarantine. I really hope that all of you are staying safe and if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.